One, two, three. Welcome. Yeah, where's Tammy? Let's get on with Let's the show. Let's do it. Let's go. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Mix Cocktail Hour. I'm Tammy Harrison. This is Scott Cushman. Scott, Scott Cushman. Cushman. Tammy Scott forgot my name. Cushman. <laughs> no, I just thought I've never actually had you say your own name. It's, it's very weird. weird. It's, it's odd. odd. It's odd, odd coming, coming out of my mouth. mouth. No, 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 it threw you off. It did. How often do you say your own name? Hardly ever. I know. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, what a great show we're going to have today. Dang, dang. <gasps> Nervous. I know. Nervous. So, what I've done is I've prepped. Okay. Hair wise. Oh, good. Put it in a bun. Put it all back. Put a little thing on here. I don't want any strays. I don't yep. want any anything happening. Yep. Uh, I still have hair on my arms. Yeah, Did you I, shave your arms? I was going to wax them, and then yeah. uh, I got real scared, and I think I'll probably just, I'd rather just burn it off. You'd rather wax. just light your arms on fire. Yeah, I think so. That waxing looks terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. I would think so. Yeah. This is going to be fun. Yeah. How was your week? Oh, my week was great. Yeah? Yeah, just prepping for this, really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, literally just lighting things on fire as I went. Really? Yeah, just I was like Johnny Fire Seed, just lighting. I would light this on fire, go to yeah. the next uh, next door, light that house on fire. Yeah. It, listen, Reseda is in flames right now, and that's that's of true. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Didn't you have a power outage or something? I did. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is it fixed? I mean, listen, it'll never be fixed. We live in Los Angeles. Okay, it's, that's yeah, fine. it's gonna be yeah. rough. It's that's gonna true. be rough for the rest of our no, lives. No, I meant your power outage. Oh yeah, the power outage is fine. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, the fire. No. No. Okay. Um, I would like to also give a shout out to everybody who is tuned in with us tonight on Instagram, on Facebook, on Dailymotion, on Twitch, and on TikTok. Hop on over to YouTube so you can join us in the chat as well. And speaking of chat, let's give a quick shout out to everybody who's tuned in so far. And that is, we have Mila in the house, we have Danny, we have Dixie, we have Larry, we've got Carl Tender, up, Carl? we've got Keith in the house. Uh, David Strickland is here. Jen is here as well, of course. Um, then we have Tomoko. We've got um, we've got Tex. We've got Tell. We've got Betty. Everyone is here, so everyone's very excited about how we're going to light this place on fire. Absolutely. Tonight. Tonight. Yep. Tonight it, it all comes to a, a burning end. Yes. A fiery inferno of an end. I hope not. Yeah. But uh, but let's see. Let's see. It might be me. Yeah. Uh, we don't know. Who knows? Um, so what uh, what are you going to be making first? So I'm going to start off with um, one of my uh, one of my own creations. Uh -huh. uh, in fact, I uh, from everything that I have seen, yes, I invented this style of lighting something on fire. Did you though? There are other. Uh, there's nobody else that's ever claimed it. Okay. And I have been wow. making videos on this particular thing for many moons at this point, yeah. uh, and have had this drink in many of my bars. Okay. Uh, so I call this this uh, this technique. Uh -huh. I call it the fajita effect. The fajita. The fajita effect. So why do I call it the fajita effect? Have you ever been to a Mexican restaurant? Of course. Yes. What do you do uh, mm. before you go to a Mexican restaurant? You prep, right? You say, I am going to get in. Yeah. I'm going to order the taco burrito combo or whatever combo you like. I'm going to have the chimichurri, chimichunga. I'm going to have the, uh, the what, I'm going to have whatever. I'm going to have a tostada, whatever you're doing. Yeah. The problem with that is, uh -huh. is if you are in that restaurant and anybody in the restaurant orders a fajita, yeah. throws your whole plan out. It does, because you want it. Because now you want that fajita. I know. That's how this is supposed yeah. to be. So if you are sitting at a bar, so you know what you want. I'm going to have a vodka cranberry. I'm going to have a, yeah. a, an AMF, yeah. because I'm an idiot. You're yes. saying to yourself, I'm an idiot. Of course. I'm going to have an AMF. Yeah. Uh, but then you see this drink go up. Uh. You're like, I want that drink. Mm. This is the fajita effect. So it uh, used to be done with, uh, with Angostura bitters. I'm now doing Fernet. Of course. Of course. So we are calling this the uh. Furhita effect. Uh. This is the rum the Furhita coin. effect. The so, coin uh, comes yeah. out. This is my Los Angeles one. You can see that I have banged this on many a bar yeah. uh, at this point. Yeah. Uh, it's starting to get a little beat up. So uh, let's begin uh, with this. We're going to be building this one completely in glass. Okay. So we need a rocks glass mm -hmm. uh, right down here. And then what we really need is going to be, there goes my shot of Fernet. It's over. Okay. Yeah, it's gone forever. We, go. uh, we then need to grab some Fernet Branca. Some more, yes. Now, Fernet Branca is only 39% alcohol. Yes, weak. It is weak. As we call it here. It, yes, we call it weak sauce. The I weak believe, stuff. Yes, I believe the uh, the Italians 
call it uh, El Tropo Non Fonante. Yeah. Totally made that up. I have no idea what yeah. any of those words are. Uh, the Tropical Fern. Uh, the Tropical Fern, I believe is what yes. they call it, which is weak. Yes. Uh, they call it Weissei uh -huh. in German. Yes. yes. It means uh, soft yeah. egg. Yes, Weissei. A warm dusche. It's yes. a warm shower. As well. Yeah. Uh, so we are going to take uh, this. We are going to throw in some simple syrup. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, uh, not simple syrup. Don't throw simple syrup in this. Won't light on fire. You can make simple syrup from that. You can make simple syrup from that, but that is not the important part. We want this sugar in here. We want that to get all absorbed. Half an ounce of fernet uh, and some of this okay. uh, uh, sugar. We are going to take a muddler. Beautiful. And we are going to muddle this all in. Now, hopefully our glass is extra dry. Uh, because what we're doing is we're using something called the Mangione effect. Mangione effect has to deal with how liquor sticks to the side mm -hmm. of, uh, of uh, the glassware. Glass. Uh, so the better glassware, the less porous your glassware, the better. So we can see that as I spin this, all of this starts sticking all the way here to the sides, giving us a nice level field mm. of ethyl. Mm. Uh, let's prep our orange. Uh, this is an orange uh, that it. we're using. And we are just going to find the orange. We're going to find the fat part right here. Fat. The fattest part of this. The P-H-A-T? Uh, yeah, whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. The, the thickest booty yeah. orange you can yeah. find. If you want to dance with it and buy yeah. it a drink, that's the part you want yeah. uh, right there. So we're going to take this, put this right to the side. Now, there are oils in this. Mm -hmm. Oils are, of course, flammable. Yep. So that is what we're going to be doing. We're going to take two toothpicks. If you <gasps> do not feel... You called them two I did. Two stickers. <gasps> Two stickers. I've taught this drink many times. When I'm referring to this drink, uh, they are always toothpicks. I completely forgot wow. about that. Um, if you don't like to use toothpicks, you can use a long lighter, uh -huh. but then you get butane in your cocktail, and that tastes gross. So we're just gonna go ahead and start spinning this. This left hand that I'm doing is the hardest part because we have to keep it going like a little spider. Yeah, it's like a rat in a wheel. Like a rat in a wheel. We're gonna move this all around, shake it. The more you shake it, the more the flame comes through. And then we're gonna squeeze this orange. There we go. Boosh. Boosh. So what we've done here is we have uh, we have uh, sort of made some of that uh, sugar mm. caramelized. Mm. We've taken out some of the booze uh, that is inside of the uh, of the fernet, Love it. and we have made, uh, we brought out some of those herbs and bitterness. We yeah. sort of roasted everything in there. Yeah, Let's it smells continue. great in here It right smells now. amazing, yeah, right? It yeah, it smells really amazing. Good in here. Uh, that yeah. is part of the fajita. You see that flame, you see that, I know. and then you smell the fajitas. Yeah. That's how this is, this is how this got called the fajita mm. effect. Uh, next thing we wanna add, I'm gonna have to open this bottle, because I forgot to grab uh, anything earlier. Uh, this is a bottle of sweet red vermouth. This is called Carpano Antiqua. Oh, nice. Oh, it's the greatest. <clears throat> uh, in fact, Fernet and Carpano Antiqua are under the same label, Infinitum Spirits. So these work really well together. Just half an ounce, okay. uh, nice and easy. Just, just put that on the ground. Uh, and then uh, you can throw from this base, you can throw whatever you want in there. Uh, you want a, you want something with some age, so like a, a, a tequila, okay. Reposado tequila. Uh, whiskey goes really well with it, mm. but I'm gonna be doing a rum today. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna reach back here and grab my Clement. Uh, this is just a Martinique rum. Love it. Yeah, and just an ounce and a half. Uh, I've just gonna eyeball that. I'm just gonna dump it. Dump it. I'm just gonna dump it. That's probably a little less than an ounce and a half, but we all know what that looks like. We're just filling. Uh, we're just killing bottles at this point. Uh, this is the drink. We are going to throw our hunk of hunk of burning ice in here. And now what we want to do is give this a stir. Uh, I always like to stir it until I can get the orange up off the bottom and then give it 10 more stirs. Uh -huh. uh, really what we're doing is uh, letting that ice settle, letting that ice melt a touch because otherwise we don't get any water in here mm. and we get all that sugar and all that fernet up into the drink. Yeah, because theoretically the fernet would still be a little warm, right? It would the... still be a little, absolutely, yes. This would still be a little warm. Yeah. Uh, now this is going to be very similar to an old fashioned, this is like an old fashioned meets a Manhattan. Yeah. Um, uh, it's gonna be, this one's, this is gonna be actually a little sweeter than I think you think it is. Because of the caramelization? The caramelization, yeah. the uh, fernet has some sweetness to it, the sugar has some sweetness to it, and the sweet vermouth has some sweetness to it. Plus the rum is a little sweet. Oh, yeah, so give that a try. I can't wait, an old yeah. fashioned with rum? An old fashioned with rum. right up yeah. my alley. Yeah. Cheers. To you. Ooh, I mean it smells fantastic. Glass is still warm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
Mm. That's a nice smooth one. Yeah. You're right. It is a little. It's a little on the sweet side. Yeah. But I, I like it. I like sweeter. If you cocktails. can find, if you want to make this a little drier, get a nice rye, like a, mm. you know, like an old Overholt or uh, something, just like a nice, easy, middle of the road rye, because then it'll be a little drier, sort of balance it out. But yeah. I'm a rum guy. Absolutely. And, yeah. But I, 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 I love works. the because it, it tricks you. You were expecting that. Uh, you know that that whiskey taste yeah. in here, but you're not no. getting it. But you no. kind of think you are. It's 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 like a magic trick. Ta -da. Ta -da. No, it's great. Yeah. Well done. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And that little orange <laughs> magic on top. Yeah. You just get that little hint of it, which isn't overpowering at all. But it's it it's very well balanced. It's great. Scott. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Think about doing this professionally. I should. I might actually. I might after this. Uh, after this whole show wraps up, I might yeah. go uh, work in bars. Maybe. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah, who knows what'll happen? I think. Yeah. Cheers on that. Great Cheers. first yeah. fire drink. Tim, what do you have for me? Hey, you just wait. I one will. Minute. Yeah. Sorry. I forget you the Tammy runs the show. You just hold your horses one minute <laughs> for me to say hi to people. Yep in the chat who are fascinated by your drink right sure, now. absolutely. Would you like some compliments? I would like some questions. If people have questions, I'd really like them. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, we don't have any. Everyone's just saying like that they thought it was fantastic. Great. You're a fire god. I am. You're, you're the fire god. I am, that's true. Um, so we also have Cynthia in the house. Tomoko is here. Jesse's in the house as well. Just wanna say hi to all you peeps. Um, yeah, the drink sounds and looks so cool. Yes, it is. And uh, Dixie says she's a rum girl. What's up, yes. Dixie? Who is it? You know? So, um, anyway. 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 Um, my drink. Yes, yes, what are you making? And also, please, yes, write us some questions. We, yeah. We're here. We're here to answer everything. We literally are here and to anything. answer things. Yeah. Uh, we are going to do a question and answer um, uh, segment mm. uh, or a, 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 a private show mm. uh, here soon uh, when we get our uh, Patreon uh, sort of set up right. So that is uh, true. We've yeah. got a lot of exciting stuff to talk Absolutely. on that a little bit later on. Yeah. So get your free questions answered now. Yeah. Later get on. Get the free stuff now because yeah. soon it won't be. Soon it won't. Be. Well. So no more free stuff. Also no more questions. Yeah. No more questions, guys. I'm just more compliments after this. Um, so when it came to fire, yeah. I was like, I have no clue right. what to do. Right. And then I thought, okay, so wait a minute. We've been doing this, and me specifically, um, been doing this and been doing mix for almost seven years. It's right? a long time. Traveling around and doing some exciting stuff, and, I'm, and you never forget your firsts. That's true. Okay? And I remember my first egg white drink, right. for example, was at Cinco. A fantastic place sure. in Marina del Rey. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, I don't know, egg white? Ugh. I'll never forget that. My first fire drink uh -huh. was with our friends at the Blind Rabbit okay. in Anaheim. Yeah. And I thought, well, you know what? To show my appreciation, I'm going to replicate um, their drink. I've seen this episode. That they made. It was so amazing. It's a and little extra, yeah. There's a lot is, going on It is on a little extra. Yeah, I'm not gonna right. go full out. Okay. Because it's almost like the whole thing is lit on fire. Yeah. Like it's big. Don't they basically just light the bar on They're fire? Literally yeah, light literally the bar literally lock fire. the doors and say. I'm gonna do the yeah. the um, you know Scale back maybe. Yes. Yeah. The the, the the Tammy version. Okay. So I don't burn down, you know, the microphones that are just above just my head above here our and heads, stuff yeah. and the cameras yeah. and thousands of millions of dollars of equipment yeah. that's in here. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, I'm very interested to see this. So, well, I, 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 I like to talk about mm. good trouble on this show. Like, it's nice when we, you and I find good trouble. I think this is good trouble. This could be. This, I don't know. This borders good trouble and horrific uh, burning. We and might be in terrible trouble yeah. after yeah, yeah. this. Yeah. Let's see. Let's find out together, shall we? Let's do it, Tammy. Yes. yes. So, what we're gonna take is we're gonna take some tins here. Okay. And we're gonna add in some fantastical stuff, plantation rum. Hey! This is... The name of the drink? Oh, it's still a secret. But you'd like to know the name of the drink? It's called, and ironically, it's called, wait for it. <laughs> that is, yeah, that is ironic. Okay. It's like we planned that. Yes. We did not. Wait for it. Yeah, wait for it. Um, we're gonna do two ounces of plantation aged rum. Okay. I absolutely adore this stuff. This stuff is a uh, this is a a uh, a group favorite. The peanut gallery absolutely. loves this. Everybody uh, loves this. Yeah. 
um, what is it, Jamaican and Caribbean so distilled yeah. rum in American oak charred barrels. I mean, anyway, Damn, just, look at all those come words on. you know. Yeah, that was awesome. All these words I know. <laughs> that was so and good. I can You're make just like sentences. Rattling those off, man. Yes. Just like bam, 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 hey, bam, bam, bam. I know my stuff. It's so good. You do. You clearly do. I know my plantation rum. You nailed it. Anyway, nailed it. next What's up. What's that plantation? Yeah. Uh, two ounces of pineapple juice. Ooh. Yum, yum. Ooh, you are speaking my language. Then we're going to put in uh, one ounce of lime juice. Okay. Okay. None of this is flammable yet, so I'm very excited to I see know. where this goes. Yeah. I know. And then we need one dash of vanilla. Right. Okay. This doesn't have a little spouty thingy, so I'm oh, just yeah. going to do a little... Plus you get to uh, you get to show off those uh, Dude, those nails. Like that. Want my glittery nails? Yeah, so pretty. Oh please. Look at you, Tam. Oh, oh thank you. Yeah. Alright, so now what's gonna happen is we're gonna give it a quick shake, but this is called a whip shake. Oh, I, I know it, yes. So I just need like like two two ice cubes. Three at the most. And a whip shake. Is that it? Okay. Oh, those are two. <clears throat> a whip shake is basically, we're going to shake as long as it takes until these guys uh, dissolve. Yeah, okay. okay. There's no, there's going to be nothing left. Oh my goodness. Should be nothing left. Might take a 15, minute. 20 minutes, yeah. And it might take an hour. Yeah. We don't know. Let's, Let's go. See what we got. And it should then go silent. It's, it's getting there. Let me turn around. It's getting there. It's pretty silent. Sounds pretty good. Oh, good. good. Yeah. Took less than a minute. <laughs> okay. So the reason I have this tray here, and uh -huh. you'll you'll find out in a minute, uh -huh. is uh, let me grab my glass. Yeah. For you. Ooh, that's a great glass. One of my faves. Okay. So I'm gonna pour this drink in here now, mm -hmm. but I'm gonna show you then afterwards how we're gonna light this bad boy on. Fire. Oh my god, though. Okay. I mean, this is already amazing. Yeah. All the same. It's like a daiquiri. It is. Yeah. Correct. So, what the blind rabbit guys did mm -hmm. is they literally made a ring of fire. Right. With 151 gosling, you know. Sure. And everything just lights on fire. Yeah. I'm a little worried about that. Yeah. Uh, because we do have a lot of equipment that's pretty close to. Um, to the drink. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is because it calls for lime, there's uh -huh. lime in here. I made a little lime boat. Oh. And this is always very fun. Um, we're gonna place the lime boat as a garnish in here. So I'm making a little adaptation of what they did. And we're gonna pour some some 151 in here now. Yeah. And then the fire show can begin. Oh my goodness. So hold on. Don't hold on. Right. Just okay. like that. I'm gonna take one of these magical long. Do you want to put it into the? Uh... What do you want? Oh, just in. I have a. I have a flame right here. I have a super long, extra, extra, super long match. I'm just saying you can light the match in the flame. Also good. Wow. Look at all this. But a boom, but a bing. Ba -ba -boom -ba. Okay, so this oh, is boy. now on fire. Oh boy. Oh, this is where the fun begins. Yeah, now. my goodness. Okay, so in this is also 151 proof. Sure, of course, why not? Of course. Yeah. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna heat this bad boy up just a little bit. So stand back just, just a tad. And we're gonna do a little bit of this. Yeah. A little bit of that. Oh, look at that. You give it like Give it like five big ones. One more. Yes! That's the way to do okay, it. Okay, what I wanna do, just end it with. Yeah. Is one more thing. A sprinkle of cinnamon. Yeah. Because this always gives us some super pretty sparkles. Oh, look yeah, at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Snow oh is falling. All right. It's like Christmas, right? It's very much like Christmas. I know. Yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna do the most famous thing of all. Uh huh. The most famous thing of all. Yes. Elvis. No. Nope. The Kush clap. Yay! It's that's a three. three that's a tripler. That's, that's triple, a tripler. Very triple, nice. Though, triple clap. Look at this. Look at this. Um. So here it is, and normally. Um, and you gotta you gotta be a little careful, and I that's refuse. why it's called. I refuse to be a little. Wait careful. for it. Yeah. Okay. Because it could be a little hot. Okay. No. So you, I, I'm not worried about no, anything. No, no worry about I'm that. I'm just dumping this okay. right into the Your mouth. Uh, right into my mouth. Dump right into the right, right into the mouth. hole under my nose. Yes. Uh, I assume I'm just gonna dunk this down. Uh, there we go. And oh baby. There we oh, go. Oh baby, this is right up my alleys. The wait for it 
from the from our friends right at in. the Blind Rabbit. Mm. Isn't that great? Fiery, mm. roasty, rummy, tiki goodness mm. in your mouth. This drink has no chance. It is not going to last the show. That is delish. Great. Well done, Blind Rabbit. Absolutely. Uh, well done, Tam Tam. Excellent. Yeah, and everybody who wants to actually see the uh, original version of this drink, which has way more flames than yeah. I just did, scroll down in our videos on our YouTube page um, and you will find it. It's called Wait For It and, um, and the guys from the Blind Rabbit actually uh, make it. Yeah. Very huge flames. Yeah. It was beautiful. I just I just thought I had to tone it down for <laughs> my version. We're gonna, yeah. We're yeah. Gonna and I thought, you know, that was that was a that was it smells oh my god. Yeah. It smells so it smells good in so here good. right now. That cinnamon is it smells of roast cinnamon. That is uh, as we say in Boston, that's the tits. That Better was fun. That was good. Excellent. All right. Drink uh, number three. So we haven't gonna, burnt the house down yet. So. Uh, we haven't. Uh, we, I have two uh, little things I'm about to do. Okay. Uh oh. Uh, so uh, we often think about fire tricks as maybe a new thing. Yes. Right? Maybe sort yeah. of a newer situation that we're up to. Uh, yeah. All these bartenders. Uh, actually, uh, the godfather of bartending, a guy named Jerry Thomas. Yeah. Uh, oh, the yes. Professor. Uh, Professor Jer uh, Jerry he's, Thomas. He's a bartending guide. He was. He was yes. the, uh, yes, he has the wonderful bartending guide, the Bon Vivant. Yeah. Uh, he did a drink, his most famous drink was called the Blue Blazer. Mm. Now, I have tried the Blue Blazer before and ruined it horribly. Okay. We are going to try again uh, right now to see if we can't blue blaze it up. And then I'm going to make a drink uh, to show sort of where fire started okay. in cocktails and where it has gone. So if you don't mind passing me that, I'm just skipping it. He did it with scotch. I need the 151. Okay. He did it with scotch. So I'm just going to go ahead and put in two ounces. Let's do an ounce and a half okay. of uh, this guy right here. Uh, this is just 151. He did it with scotch. Uh, but we are a TV show, so we're gonna do something called Hollywooding it. Yes. We're gonna uh, bump this up. We are just gonna put a dash of water in here too. Great. Uh, that technically would make it a cocktail. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we're gonna light it on fire. Already? Oh, okay. That's it. Ah. We're just gonna light that on fire. So technically this whole, uh, this whole thing, mm -hmm. oh, this whole thing will go on fire. Let's see if that will stay on fire with the water in it. Let's see. Yeah, it's going. And then yeah. we are going to give this a pour. We are going to be, oh, I've already messed it up. Here we go, we're gonna try this one more time. Oh, so it always has to keep on fire. So it's on fire the entire time. Okay, well, good luck. Thank you. We're all rooting for you. Yeah, I mean, listen, I uh, I did this on my show one time and uh, yeah. uh, it took me forever. So we're gonna just try this one more time, here we go. Okay. Pour this, yeah. there we go, pour. Bonfire! Wow. I mean, it's pretty beautiful. It is very pretty. Yeah. What we're doing right here is something called boxing. We are boxing the cocktail. We're going back and forth. We are burning out some of that booze. Now we have yeah. two of these going. Right there. Wow. Grab me a uh, rocks glass if you yes. could. We're going to pour this in. Oh, we can still hear it. Ah. Oh, yeah, listen to all that. Heat. It's, yeah. It's Get it right hissing. in here. It's hissing. We're going to go ahead and pour our cocktail right in there. Got some hot rum in there. Some hot rum. Yeah. Just throw a touch of ice in here. Yeah. This is just rum and water. Uh, if you uh, dare, yes. you can take uh, some of this uh, lime, squeeze it in half. And you have a uh, a very early version of the cocktail. Really uh, has never tasted great, but uh, is just uh, a it was more for the show. More for the show. What was the name? It's called the Blue Blazer. Oh, the Blue, the Blue Blazer. Blazer. That's right. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we, of course, can do it like this. Uh, but we have come. Oh, go ahead. No. Oh please. gosh, I was, you, just, I just, you look so uncomfortable. Stay I was, like I this. was waiting. Yeah. Like, what like more news can you tell me before uh, I drink this? So we have um, we have done. Uh, that, we've seen that, that's the beginnings of the uh, booze coming through, or the fire coming through and booze. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to show you how to take fire yeah. and create a cloud. They oh, so we're doing more stuff. I'm doing one, oh. I, that, that was not the drink, I was just, this is so a. So I'm not supposed to sip this? I would. Oh. It's, 100, it's 151 rum and lime. Get it out of your life. Well, I don't know. It's too old. It's too okay, old. Okay. Uh, we are instead going to be making a drink that I am calling the loss of cabin pressure. Loss of cabin pressure. No one wants that. No, of course not. 
of course not. Uh, this is a version now. If anybody wants to go watch, uh, I've done another version of this particular technique. Uh, I believe I called it the Moonstone Punch. Uh, mm. Yes, uh, very nice. You can go watch it back on our backlog of videos. I believe yep. that's up there. Yeah. Uh, but if not, this is going to be an aviation. Okay. But I am going to create fire, so we're taking out the engines, yeah. and I am going to create a low and high pressure system inside the glass so that we will create a cumulus cloud. Are we ready? Once again. Are we ready? Good. What? <gasps> what? <laughs> no. Uh, all right. Let's uh, see. I need a few things for this, so uh, I'm going to start over here. Uh, we're going to start with uh, three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. Okay. Uh, so let's just squeeze this uh, lemon juice. Do you want squeezy thingy? Uh, yeah, I guess I can use that. There you go. There we go. Squeeze the rest of this like this. Uh, now I'm not going to put this in right off the top. I'm going to put this right off to the side here. Just take a touch more uh, lemon juice. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Uh, put that right there. Then we're going to use half an ounce of uh, this guy right here. This is Luxardo Maraschino yum, yum. Uh, liqueur, one of my very favorites. I've done whole shows uh, just on this stuff. This is 32% ABV alcohol by volume. So that is a pretty high sweetening agent. Mm -hmm. We're going to throw this into this little uh, guy right here. And then uh, we're gonna take some of this guy. This uh, this hilariously small bottle yeah. uh, is all the creme de violette I could find. Good news is though, uh, this is basically a lifetime supply. It's not a great ingredient. Good it's, news is you can feel like a giant. Yes, absolutely. When you hold it, uh, it is. Uh, you really shouldn't be ever using more than half of an ounce of this, and uh, David Wonderlick, the the uh, amazing cocktail historian, uh, once described the aviation that I'm about to make with uh, with uh, this stuff in it yeah. uh, as tasting like uh, grandmother's hand soap. So I would maybe stay away from it uh, as much as you can. Okay. I'm gonna throw this in here now, three quarters of an ounce. So uh, the reason I put this in here is because I have to be able to put this into my drink quickly. So I have a little speed pour okay. right there. And then we are going to put in the booze. Uh -huh. now, the booze we're putting in here is going to be gin, yep. but we need we need a different type of gin uh, than is normal. We're going to be doing this stuff. This is Navy Strength Gin. Ooh, okay. So 57% alcohol. That's where the fire comes into this play. This is where the fire comes into play. That's exactly right. We're going to go ahead and throw in. Do you know if the what proof it is flammable? Is it 80? Uh, it's all flammable. You can, if you uh, high enough heat, really? you can light wine on fire. Absolutely, you can light wine on high fire? enough, uh, high enough proof. You can light beer on fire. Really, we start getting into uh, into easy flammability when we get into the thirties. Oh, that's uh, it. That's it. Oh, so wow. yeah, once you get into about the thirties, that's right, when you can enough. really start to light stuff on fire. Um, yeah, thirty nine. Everyone's gonna be trying this at home. Like, I don't know, I got some. What up? You guys stuff are more, I have in my cabinet. Let's see if we can. More than one. Can like try this. and light whatever you want on fire. Uh, just know that I am saying, don't do it. Please just get that on tape. Uh, now I have to create. Uh, we're gonna start a. We're gonna start a high pressure, mm -hmm. uh, a high heat uh, down here. Okay. So then I need to create a low pressure system uh, to go on top. So this is just ice inside of uh, one of these elbows. I'm gonna give this a crush. Turn this over, and we are going to hopefully. This is re usually where this drink falls apart when this doesn't work. Just give this one more crush. There are we go. Are you trying to make a little bowl? I'm trying to make uh, what is? Uh, yeah, it's a uh, like a little uh, bowl. Like a little bowl. Yeah, yeah. That one's not gonna work. Give me one second. Try this one more time. Come on, buddy. Warm up. I need that off the bottom. Oh, I did it so many times right before the show, and now we're gonna have a real tough time with it. Two it's more. always the same. It is always the same. Give me one more try. As soon as you want to do this, I try crushing it in my hand and making it in my hand. I would like that. I would like to see that. Come on. Oh, I got it. I got it. This I got it. I got it. I got it. I'll okay. Think about. Yeah. Well, I just had it as well. Yeah. So. so we're just gonna put this. Right here, oh, right yeah. off the sides. Oh, oh gosh, geez. darn it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Is that gonna work? That's not gonna work. One more try, one oh. more try. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I really, I literally was, was doing it a hundred times right before the show started and now I can't get it once. 
Everyone's rooting there for you. Go. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna put this right off to the side. Don't even touch it. Just don't even touch it. Don't touch okay. it. We're gonna light this on fire. It's kind of falling. Oh, it's gonna be fine. Uh, it's gonna be fine. Uh, we're gonna light this on fire. Right in through here. Now that gin oh, is yeah, lit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. We're gonna take the rest of our ingredients, pour this in, keep that going. Still burning. Still burning. A nice slow uh, ingredient add, apparently. There we go. Oh, there's my hand. Oh, don't burn your hand. Yeah. Might need that. Slow right there. We're gonna give this a twist. Here, all of that fire oh. in here. And then we're going to take Look at that. our thing right here, put this right on top, and watch this. So now okay. we have the cloud forming. Wow. Oh. So this is a this is actually what a cumulus cloud is doing. It is taking high pressure, low pressure. Yeah. It is uh, taking the heat and the water and yeah. combining them together to create clouds in the sky. If those clouds get too heavy, yeah. it rains. Uh -huh. uh, and what happens uh, when a yeah, plane? It's raining with, now. Yeah, exactly. It's down. What happens when a plane uh, goes through one of these? Yeah. You get a little uh, little shutter. And there you go, the cloud escapes. You have your cocktail uh, ready to go. Yeah. Look at that. I wish I would have gotten this stupid thing in one try, but Look the rest of it looked really that. nice. Yeah, so this is going to be uh, sort of a, oh, I see what the problem is here what, what too. Happened? Well, there was a, I had a, uh, a lemon seed in here, which was uh, keeping me from pouring correctly. What an amazing. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, that is beautiful. Really about all you need of that. That is a overproofed drink. Uh, some sweetness. If you want to, you can add a touch of simple syrup to it. Yeah. Uh, but I think that the maraschino does a really good job of replacing that uh, simple syrup. Absolutely. And, it's got uh, that nice bit of sweetness. Well, I'm gonna grab it. This one I can drink. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. There shouldn't be, uh, yeah, there's been, it's been cold, it's been chilling for a while. Okay. Uh, so it should be good. Check the top where you're gonna put your... Uh... Put my pie hole? Yeah, put your pie hole, yes. Yeah, no, yeah. it's fine. Good. Cheers! Cheers to you. It smells good. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I mean that's the aviation, but that's, better. But better. Yeah, it's, it's the aviation, but it has it just there's yeah. a little bit more theatrics to it. Yeah. We are uh, that is called the uh, the uh, loss of cabin pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, the name of that. The know. only time I want it. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. This would literally be the only time I would want that. Yeah. Loss of cabin pressure yeah. in a glass. In a glass. In my belly, warming it. It's it's so funny with the aviation. I always forget how strong it actually is because you can really feel it. Going Absolutely, down. it's hot. You can, it doesn't smell like it at all. Right. Um, because of the creme de violette and because it looked like sardi, you have this real nice cherry, like sweet yeah. smell. This guy hits you. It does. Nailed this, it. Yeah. Fantastic. Mm. Kush. I mean, con. Well done. Thank you. Absolutely well done. Appreciate it. Another round of applause from me, at least. Oh, and everybody else. There you go. Thank you, everyone. Thank there you, everyone. Go. Thank you. Uh, Raquel Martinez, who says, uh, it's science and cocktails. That That's is, right. That is absolutely true. Everyone's thinking it's fantastic. Danny says, awesome. Jesse says, oh my God. Jay, who's in the house. Oh, Jay Carter party started? Wow. Tomoko is saying, so cool. Uh, David is saying, delicious and educational. Mm. It's rock and roll. Everyone oh, is. David Strickland? Yes. David Strickland will be on our show next week. That is true. The Disney the Drinking, Disney Drinking Society. Society. If you guys are interested at yeah. all in Disney cocktails yeah. uh, or Disney at all, next week will be an entirely Disney-centric show. We have the head of the Disney Drinking Society coming in next week, 5 o'clock. So stoked on that. That'll be so much fun. So much fun. Everyone loves Disney and everyone loves drinking. Absolutely. So we're going to drink shows, Disney. So, yeah. I mean, combining the two. Um, absolutely fantastic. So that will be next Friday's oh, show. What happened? You know, I just, I brought this whole thing and I forgot You brought an actual shirt? I brought a different shirt, yeah. I was supposed to put it on at some point, then wow. I forgot. It got hot. I'll put it on at the very end. Oh, jeez. I mean, this. that's, that... <laughs> We were so close. We were so close. We were so I close. almost got not, out without wearing this. Wear that. We almost got away with it. I told, I looked oh, over, I was like, oh, there was a whole thing I was gonna do. No, that's great. We, everyone, it's fantastic. 
It's very nice. Should we redo this show with no, you wearing this? Should we just not. do this one more absolutely time? Absolutely not. Yeah, let's do it one more time. Funny enough, we've actually <laughs> almost come to an end. Oh, boo! Okay, yeah, such a, <laughs> such a shame. Um, oh, yeah. So uh, we also like to say hi to uh, Avery, who's in the house as well, up, who's Avery? tuned in with us. Um, so next week we have Disney Drinking Society. Then please always remember to uh, subscribe and like our videos on YouTube. Click that notification bell as well so you can see when we go live and when we post new videos. Also tune in, if you cannot make it to YouTube, tune in on Daily Motion, on Twitch, on TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook. And follow us all at Tammy Harrison, at Kush Tender, and at Mix TV Show. Then, of course, we've got Patreon. Yeah. We're going to be announcing this week. I know I did say we're going to be announcing it last week, but we have been, we, we need to figure out exactly what we're going to be doing. This is, this is special. This is really special yep. to us. Um, so for Patreon, we do currently have a Patreon page. If you go into patreon.com slash mixcocktailhour, we do actually currently have a Patreon page with only two tiers, I think. Wow. There are a lot more tiers following um, with some fantastic exclusive stuff yeah. um, to, to get involved with uh, there. So we'll definitely be mentioning Absolutely. that as well. And of course, right now, we're going to do a quick recap of what we did on our fire show. Absolutely. So this was our first one. I'm not giving you your drink back. So oh, that's right. You still right have here. it. Yeah. This that's is one not... of the very rare occasions that you actually don't I'm give me the drink. I'm not giving it back. Yeah, I love it so much. So That's the wait yeah. for it. Yeah. Um, then we have the, what was your first one? The fajita effect. Oh, the, the rum fajita, fajita effect. effect. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely love it. Thank you. Um, a very close second. Yeah. Is gonna be my wait for it. Oh man, yes. No, the wait for it. I the wait for it might be number one for me. It's gonna be the blue blazer. Yeah, there we go. The uh, the blue blazer was the other one. Oh no, this sorry. is the loss of cabin. Oh, the loss pressure. of cabin yeah, pressure. Loss of sorry, cabin pressure. loss of yeah. cabin pressure. I never would have thought my favorite thing is loss of cabin That's pressure. That's right. That's right. Uh, but just alone, the show. Yeah. Was the, the winner for me tonight. That's what it's gotta be. Absolutely. That's what it's gotta be. So fantastic. Yeah. Thank you, Scott. Did Tammy, thank great you. Great job. I'm uh, loving that you're loving the way for it. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is yeah. Like I said, you might have to make me. One I was gonna say I, I can already see faces maker. in the background. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, yeah, I yeah. need I need one of those as yeah. well. So we'll Little be making maybe makers. a couple of those now afterwards. Yeah. And um, oh, we have Christoph Rademacher ah, from Germany. Yeah, bit spät. Fünf Uhr hat's gegessen. But I know it is also like 2 uh, a.m. in the morning, so... He was asking enough. for I was... cheese, for those of you who don't understand German. He said, no, who I is was... the case in, which is, where is the cheese? No, I was, I, telling I, him off. I was telling him off for tuning in at the end of the show. Oh, yes, of course. Macht aber nix. Nächste Woche wieder einschalten. Nächsten Freitag um 5 Uhr unsere Zeit, 2 Uhr in der Früh deine Zeit. Außer du bist in L.A., dann ist es 5 Uhr deine Zeit. One um, time I was in L.A., I met a shark. I feel like yes. I got that. Shark and Shin, I believe you said that That was somewhere. exactly what I did. My German is One pretty good. Good. My German is pretty Germany. good at this point. Yeah. Uh, there are two more things that I would like to announce. Oh yeah. Uh, one, it is my dad's birthday tomorrow. Hey, so happy, happy birthday, birthday, Dada! And uh, also on Sunday, England is playing uh, Italy in the UEFA Cup final. So uh, root for uh, England, obviously. No, not Italy. We all agree the Suns are the best team, though. Either way, <laughs> go Suns. It's football. It's, uh, soccer. Yeah. Right. I've heard of it. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I hope you guys had as much <laughs> fun as we did. We'll be back again in a week's time. Until then, I'm Tammy Harrison. This is Scott Cushman. Cheerio. Cheerio. <laughs>